Hi, beautiful. You're looking good. Thank you for being here. Today, we're watching some people bleach their hair. Um, I saw a couple of thumbnails and I feel like maybe we're gonna get some fails today. Hopefully, one of these people can do something right. I'm gonna be here to give you my professional opinion on everything they do. And hopefully today, I can shed some light on how to lighten your hair more effectively and not burn your hair off. I also wanna thank Centrum for sponsoring today's video. The Centrum Rest and Rejuvenate. Do you have a racing mind like me, baby? You need that extra melatonin. This is a part of a new line of targeted products from Centrum. Centrum is committed to helping you feel your best. They've crafted an array of vitamins and dietary supplements that work in harmony with your body and support your body's unique needs because feeling good starts inside. So inside these deliciously flavored berry gummies is five milligrams of melatonin, which promotes sleep and supports relaxation. This also replenishes collagen, a key skin nutrient, while you sleep. So rest and refresh your day ahead with this gorgeousness right here. Try new Centrum Benefit Rest and Rejuvenate at www.centrum.com or click the link in my description box below today to learn more. And thanks again to Centrum for sponsoring this video. Now let's get in to the rest of the video. Up first, we have a video by Hee Hee, it's McKenna, and this is called Bleaching My Own Hair from Brunette to Platinum in One Application. In one application? Oh, not five, like everybody else does? Maybe I was wrong when I did the intro of the video, expecting there to be problems, honestly, because this sounds kind of interesting and kind of like it's gonna go right. McKenna is going to ignore again that she hasn't posted in months, and she's going to bleach her entire head to Platinum Blonde. Okay, whoa, this is a lot for me. Her hair is like a level four. That sounds like a daunting task to do at home yourself, but I'm here for it. I was mainly convinced to do this because of the filters on Instagram and TikTok that make me look cute as hell with lilac and pink hair. Yes, I absolutely agree. You should definitely try this. I have prepared for this by taking notes on a Brad Mondo video where he just explains how to go from brunette to platinum. I don't fully remember telling you how to go from brunette to platinum, but I do remember I remember giving some pointers on if you're gonna lighten your hair. I'm glad you took notes. You look like you were studying up. I really appreciate that. Let us say goodbye to this brunette hair. Your hair is beautiful and that is a lot of hair and it is very dark and very warm. Good luck getting it platinum. I don't even know if I'm gonna do pink and purple. If the blonde looks cool, I might keep that for a little bit and do this later. I don't know yet. Here are all the notes that I took. I literally even had to buy a brush. Oh yeah, my hair is dirty right now. It's greasy and oily and that's apparently what's supposed to be the case when you bleach your hair. I love that. That is so good. You need those oils to protect your scalp. Otherwise, if you shampoo your hair, it is going to be pretty painful lightening it um, sometimes. So I wouldn't recommend stripping those natural oils off your scalp before doing the lightening process, which is great that she didn't do that. Front section is way thinner than the back section. It looks like I'm sectioned into the four parts. I'm gonna leave these down since I'll be starting with them, I think. Don't start with the front. Start with the back. That way if you need to rinse it out, you can always like lay back and rinse it without getting the front. One scoop with two ounces of volume. How do I measure? We're off to a rocky start. Um, we can't even mix the lighter. Four scoops of bleach. Damn, I don't feel like this is gonna fit. I'm gonna do three scoops of bleach, less than half of the bottle. Can we just take a second to appreciate the multiple camera angles we're working with right now? McKenna, this is incredible. We're doing the big section, like the apex or whatever you call it. That is not the apex, McKenna. Apex is up here, it's the highest point of your head. That's like the lowest. Also, why are your sections so big? I think the number one thing I said was like, make sure you do small sections and make sure you put enough light in there. Like I remember saying that, I do. Oh my God, it's already lifting so much, I can just see it. You literally took notes on my video. Why are we starting in the front of your head? Next time you do it, please start in the back and please, do smaller sections and do horizontal sections. Do slices throughout the head. Get in there and get a lot of lightener on there, please. Otherwise, you're gonna have spotting all over. You're failing me right now and I hate it. Okay, I'll do this entire bottom section and then I will do the roots of the entire bottom section. Then I'll do the same with the top section. Oh, my bad. She is working on the back of the head. I take part of that back. I couldn't see, I couldn't tell. I'm sorry. Okay. This is not what I like to see. Big chunk of hair. I already am seeing blonde. It's like when he says, don't start with the roots, I think. So when do I do the roots? You do the roots when the ends are almost orange. Like 
a bright yellow color. That way, with the help of the heat from your scalp, your roots will process and be done right when your ends are finished as well. Typically, we like to put foils on the ends. If you're lightening your hair from virgin to platinum blonde, I would definitely always use foils. That way you get the heat on the ends and on the root. Again, this stuff is really complicated, so I try not to overcomplicate things when I teach things online. In the salon, as a professional, I would have a bit of a different take than the things I say online sometimes, but you know, we're not going for perfection. How do you just get every little hair that exists? There's millions. Look how white that is. There are massive chunks with no bleach. I'm gonna have hot roots. This is not going well. Again with the sectioning, it's really not great at all. Actually, there's quite a lack of sectioning going on, which is unfortunate because that's like the most important part. All you gotta do is take horizontal slices and go up the head. You don't need to take triangles and rectangles and octagons and hexagons all over the head. That way you would know if you got all the roots or not because you're just going up in the same pattern as you did before with the mids and ends. So next time, just please be better. The roots are the worst part. I should have just left than brown. Oh my god. Do you see this? This is gonna need like a drastically longer amount of time. Why do I still have blind faith that it'll look okay? That's what you call delusion, McKenna. McKenna, 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 hold on, hold on. Breathe for a second. Stop. McKenna, what happened to doing the ends before the roots? Like I know you did the mids and ends before doing the roots, but like you need to let them process before doing the roots. You know? Let's think about this before we move ahead. I know you're a smart girl. This is blonde. Yes! McKenna, if you have some blotchies, then you'll just go back in and do some touch-ups. It's not the end of the world. We're actually starting with the roots. Why? Why did we just throw away everything we learned previously and now we're doing just whatever we want? What's going on? What's up with that? Oh my god, you stupid roots. This has changed so fast. I have to start rinsing this. Like, it's getting ridiculous. You're also like removing the lightener with your hands every time you touch it. Stop touching it so much. Okay, toner. I hope you help this. <laughs> Doing? Oh, I just got bleach in my eyes. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just put your head forward to rinse the back? How is that gonna work? Cause the, the water's gonna go forward. Girl, you're gonna put your head backwards to rinse the back instead of forwards. Does that make sense? This is a real struggle today. I am absolutely a hot, fiery, blonde. What happened? The right side might be a little darker. I got hot scalp even though I freaking did it last. Whatever it's called, hot roots. You hot. Hardly did the roots last. We both know it. From what I can see online, everybody tones their roots first. They like section off and do the roots and then tone the rest of their hair. No, no, no! You didn't follow any of my directions. And now you're about to tone your hair and try to make it platinum while it's still bright orange. Also, let's not start with the roots. Let's start with the part of your hair that is the most orange and needs the most toning that way it can all be even. You know what I mean? Let's think about this. Half of this Wella T18, I guess. I guess I'm just gonna start at the roots, work my way back, get it all over. Do I just put way too much product on my hair? Or is my hair that thick that I really need this much? Super purple, man. Thank God, you're gonna need a lot of purple and a lot of blue in there to cancel out that orange. Is this normal? Why does it look br purple, brown, like burgundy? Honestly, I hope some of that purple stays in my hair because it looks a lot better than that orangeness going on. This obviously is not the tone that I would have hoped for after toner. I'm just gonna go straight to the lilac dye. I had to dry it. I haven't even washed it or conditioned it yet. Obviously that wasn't gonna work. Your hair was bright orange and you're trying to use T18 and it's just not gonna happen. But I'm glad she's going and doing a purple moment. Except I feel like it's gonna turn out a little muddy because she has a lot of orange in her hair still. Everything is wrong. So this is only semi-permanent hair dye. I didn't even show what it is. It's this Ion Brights. I should just mix this with the pink and hope it's a cool color. And it's somehow green. So I'm probably gonna have to go get better hair dye tomorrow. I don't know. I have to wait like 10 or 15 more minutes with this and then I'm gonna wash it, see what it looks like dry and re reassess the situation. Um, that dye literally did nothing, but I did condition my hair and it actually feels great. Like it doesn't feel, honestly, it doesn't feel any different than it did before. Your hair is not lilac at all. And that is because you use lilac over orange, even though the opposite of orange is blue, you're still gonna get a lot of toning qualities from a very intense purple color, which is what happened here. And you got none of the actual purple. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! I don't know how it turned out good. The dye literally did nothing. It's just, Super 
freaking blonde. And I blow dried it and straightened it in sections. I didn't see any blotches. <laughs> what? Yo, this is one of the most wild videos I've ever seen. So somehow she ended up with decent looking color that isn't that orange and actually looks pretty natural on her. My mind is like, this is what happens when you have a positive attitude and a positive outlook on life like she does because she somehow, I have no idea how, ended up doing something that helped her hair um, actually become a nicer shade of blonde by using lilac. I literally have never seen anything like this before. I'm gonna just use Arctic Fox Lilac Color Girls Night and I'm gonna make this lilac. It's super light. It's still not over? We're going lilac again? It's most definitely not lilac. I'm ending it there. That's it. That's all you guys get today because that was too much for my mental health. She tried to go lilac again. It's not gonna work. Your hair's not light enough. You have to lighten it more. I'm done, McKenna. We're done. Please, if you do that again, just don't do it. That was all kinds of crazy. Okay, let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by Die Hard Barbie, and this is called Bleached Hair Three Times in Two Hours Pink to Blonde Fail. Let's check it out. We are taking the purple out of my hair and we are going to bleach bath it. I have done a bleach bath three times, like in my whole entire life, and I have to say, it's worked fabulous. I'm gonna be honest, I love a good bleach bath. It's a great way to get rid of semi permanent color on your hair, and honestly, if you don't leave it on too long, if you use enough shampoo and a little bit of water, water inside of there, it can be pretty gentle and be pretty effective at the same time. And then I have the 20 developer that I'm putting in. I honestly don't know how she's gonna get all this purple out though. I hope she gets lucky and it all comes out, but it's pretty dark. And then you're gonna wanna add water, okay? And I had someone tell me that you're not supposed to add water. Every video that I have watched, they say that you're supposed to have damp hair or add the water into your bleach. So if you don't know what a bleach bath is, it's lightener, developer, shampoo and sometimes you can add water or you can just dampen your hair before you start applying the lightener that way you get that lathering effect so now it's like more liquidy hell no oh my god it's getting everywhere <laughs> oh she went and fully just pour that on her head oh my god don't do this at home this was a big mistake I've seen it all until today's videos. Girl, don't pour it in your eyeball. Put your head back in the sink and pour it, or like something other than just dropping it on your head, you know what I mean? You could literally go blind. Like this is not safe, but still get it on fast. It's really important to get bleach baths on fast because it's gonna start processing very quickly and you want everything to be even. Just ignore that beginning part, guys, because that was not supposed to happen. I am actually not so concerned about her sectioning as much as like I was in the other video because it's actually okay to put it all on there and get it in. It is supposed to lather and it is very runny and liquidy. It will easily get on all the hair if you just put enough on and kind of run your hands through and lather a little bit. Um, so it's okay that she's not doing it perfectly. What can I do? Like maybe like an ombre effect with the purple? I don't know. An ombre? I've never heard of an ombre. I don't think I'm gonna have enough bleach. Oh. Oh my gosh. Just mix it in. Oh my God. Get all that purple. The good thing is that it's lightening quickly. It's definitely effective. I just hope she doesn't fry her hair off by leaving it on too long. We're making some progress. It's getting lighter. Come on, give us that blonde. It's looking like peach at the top. Ooh, it's pretty. Looking peachy at the top, lavender on the bottom. I'm into it. So I haven't seen my hair at all. So this is like all first impression. Excuse my self tanner because it clearly melted my self tanner off. It's like, oh my God. Oh my God, look at all our self tanner coming off her arms. I've never seen anything like this. Please be good. Please be good. Oh. It's like baby pink. It's a lot lighter. It is not blonde though. And I honestly hope she doesn't keep doing it. I mean, says she did it three times. So honestly, we're screwed. And it's not gonna be great because her hair is already very compromised. Yeah, we're gonna have to go get um, probably one more packet of bleach. So we're on to round two and we're doing more. So got that. Just gonna take it like this. Okay, A, don't do this. B, this is going to burn her head so bad because she just basically shampooed her hair with lightener before this. So she has literally no natural oils on her scalp. Her scalp is probably so raw and so sensitive. Ouch, this looks painful just watching this. Third of all, her hair is so compromised, it's going to probably break off. Like I'm just, I, I'm done today. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I'll keep watching it for you guys. Oh, I know that's burning her eyes so bad. I know it. When you mix shampoo with lightener, it puts so much fumes into the air and literally goes right into your eyeballs and makes you cry. I'm massaging this in. 
Stop rubbing your scalp. Because it's shampoo and thick. And what do you do with a thick paste? You lather it. Oh my God. Her scalp is going to literally fall off. Oh, uh, like it did nothing. It looks lighter, but you need to give it a break. She's really gonna do it again. Third time to charm, right? I'm gonna go dry this, come back, and then we're gonna have to bleach it again. My hair is like basically dry. This is after two bleach baths to get that purple out. So my plan is to do another bleach, but not the shampoo method. Shut up. We are not even doing a bleach bath this time. We're literally just doing straight bleach. Oh my God, her hair is all gonna break off. It already looks compromised. And now we're not even using shampoo either. We're totally going with lightener. Let's hurry up this process. I would not recommend this. I would recommend leaving it alone. What you can do, instead of trying to keep getting the, the pink out, you can also use a toner. Typically the toner will release some of those pink molecules and add in a nice um, overall blonde tone without you having to lighten it again. And it did nothing to my hair. I'm not bleaching it anymore because that's three freaking bleaches in one day. Oh my God. Thank you. God, she didn't do it again. I gave my hair a nice quick blow dry. I had no hair come out. I'm not even kidding you. Little bit of like little split ends coming out, but like other than that, my hair feels way healthier than when I started. What? <laughs> I'm so surprised you didn't lose any hair, first of all. And second of all, how does it feel healthier? Girl, you got lucky, okay? So now we're on to part two. Oh my God, my hair guys, I don't wanna show you. I'm so embarrassed. I had to cut my hair. <sighs> guys, I had to, don't even come for me because I look like a freaking snatched up mama. I am just loving it. It's like cute for the summer. Okay, <laughs> that's where her hair ended up. Um, I like the cut a lot. You know, the roots are a little yellow. The ends are definitely platinum. I'm glad you ended up getting where you wanted to get to and I'm glad you're happy with it. Definitely a big difference from the start with that very deep purple semi-permanent color. So congrats on making it blonde. Next time, maybe just not so many lightening processes. Maybe don't scrub your scalp and maybe just use a toner instead um, of lightening it so many times consecutively. But you know, her hair didn't fall off. So I guess that's cool. Well, those videos crushed my soul. I don't even know what else to say. You guys heard everything already. I'm not gonna go back through it. I need to heal from those videos. <laughs> boy. And thanks again to Centrum for sponsoring this video. You guys can follow me and my brand everywhere else. Here are all my handles. You can also shop Xmondo hair color and hair care right down below or at xmondohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.